Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels, and in this video, I'll show you how you can collect leads in your funnels using the opt in widget from WP Funnels. So let's begin. As you can see, I am on the overview page for WP Funnels, and uh, you can see I've already created a couple of funnels before, but right now I'm just going to create a brand new funnel just to show you how you can collect leads. All right. So to create a funnel, you just click on this button, add new funnel. And here you get the option to choose our templates or you can create one from scratch. So initially, let me just choose a template. Okay. Let's say I want to choose this template. This is basically a template with two steps. If I click on it, you can see uh, this has a basic uh, landing page where you can collect leads and this is a thank you page. So I'll just import this one. And there you go. So now the funnel is imported and you can see this one just has two steps, the landing and the thank you. That's all I need to collect leads, right? I mean, I'm not here to sell anything. I just want to collect the lead, right? So let me just select the landing step and I can click on edit. And this will open up in the edit mode of my preferred page builder, which is Elementor. If you use DV or maybe Oxygen or Gutenberg, you can change that in the settings of WP Funnels. For all other page builder, you can just edit the pages with those builders and then use our shortcuts for our widgets, okay? So here in this landing, let me just show you, if I scroll down, uh, there is this thing, which is an opt-in form, okay? So if I click on this on the left side, you can see it has some options. So this basically is an opt-in form, which is our own widget. Let me just show you how, where it is. If you go to the widget area and go to the very bottom, it has this option called WP Funnels. And here you can see there is this widget called opt-in form. If you click and drag and drop it here, this will be dropped as an opt-in form, which you can customize on the left side. So I'm just gonna remove this. I already have one here. Let me just explain some of its features. If I click on this on the left side, you have some designs here that are predefined, such as I can choose the default style, which is like this. I can also choose form style two if I want to, or form style three, which it was in the beginning. So I can change this one. I can choose what fields to show and what not to. So here you can see it says first name. I can also show a field for last name. I can choose to collect the phone number. I can even include a box uh, where they can just write that, hey, I agree to terms and conditions. Sometimes that's needed, all right? So you can uh, click here that you're permitting that you want to receive emails from us for this and that. So something like that, okay? So let me just turn that off for now. Uh, you can see I can have viewed the icons. I can remove the icons if I want to, but showing that looks much better. I can make this into the field labels if I want to, or I can just keep it how it is. Okay. Uh, then the form required mark is basically uh, it's usable when there is field label. You can see there are these red marks right here. Okay. So if I turn this off, this goes away. Okay. So keeping them means that people have to enter this data. All right, so let me just turn off the phone as well. I'll just keep first name, last name, and email. All right, now let's move on to the button. Here, I can change the text. All right, so let's say, yes, I want it. There you go, so it's updated. I can change the alignment. I can add an icon, all right, from the icon library if I want to. Let's say this one, and there you go. The icon is there. I can change the icon spacing. So I have full control of the design. And then there is this action after submit and this is special let me just click on this and you can see once it expands you can see some options initially you have the choice to choose the admin email okay so uh here you can change if you want to uh, send this email to some other email or uh, you can also change the subject line and you can also assign a notification text all right so this is basically when someone signs up what they will see so let's say successfully signed up Okay, so when someone submits a form, they will see this message. Okay, then there is this other action. So this other action is basically to define what should happen after the submission. So here you can see it says next step. It means if someone submits this, then he'll be directed to the next step. I can change this to a redirect to URL, which means that if someone puts a custom URL here, so after submission, he'll be directed to that URL. This could be an external URL, an internal page within the page. And here you have further link options if you want to open in a new tab or add a no follow. Okay. And then you have the option to choose none, which means nothing will happen. He will remain in this page. So whichever you want, you can use. Let me just choose next step. 
and then there is this special uh, option to register user as a subscriber so if someone submits an opt-in form you can register him directly as a subscriber into your wordpress site all right so if you just enable this and that's it there you have this thing called subscription permission which means that you can have them agree that yeah they agree to join as a subscription all right this is just an extra protocol so once you're ready with your opt-in form you can just update this all right now let me go back to the canvas and i have the thank you page so i'll just edit this and this will also open up and you can see that uh, this is just a basic thank you page there is no special data here someone is already opt-in i'm just thanking him then i'll get back to him all right it's as simple as that all right so once you're happy with the design you can just view this and this will open up and you can see this is uh, the landing page and here in the opt-in i'll just use some data let's say john there is doe and there is john doe sorry and if i uh, add gmail.com sorry uh, about my typing mistakes so i'll just click on yes i want it it will give the message and then he'll be directed to the next step okay so that's it that's how easy it is you to collect leads using wp funnels now let me go back to the canvas and i'll give you some advice basically when you collect leads you do want to take some actions afterwards all right for that we have integration with fluent crm all right and you can easily send this data to fluent crm once someone sub submits an opt-in form by going to integrations and they're setting up the triggers that if someone submits an opt-in form he'll be assigned to a specific tag or list all right this is something i'll show you in a later video but it's really easy and other than that if you use some other crm tool or email tool you can always go to settings and use the webhooks options to send that out there all right so basically over here you're collecting the leads and normally getting the leads into your email but you can automate this using webhooks or integration if you need to okay so that's it that's how easy it is to collect leads using wp funnels thanks for watching this video i'll see you in a future video take care